Are those real ducks or are they rubber duckies? Everybody look out. I've got a fishing rod and I'm not afraid to use it. You cannot let me say banana llama. <laughs> Just cut it all out. No! Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today we have a brand new episode of Comfy Couch. This series where I showcase gameplay from all new titles and revisit some of our favorites. This episode is very kindly sponsored by Sodesco with the cozy adventure game called Putsy Island developed by Zelo Games. In this title, you join an adorable cat named Lily on a quest to recover the lost memories of her grandpa as you explore a vibrant island, meeting colorful characters along the way. Pity Island is out now on PC via Steam, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch, so be sure to visit the link in the video description to learn more. Otherwise, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So cute. We're going on an adventure. Oh yeah, let's let's take the boat. <laughs> Hopefully we know how to steer it. Oh. Aw. Oh my gosh, my heart. Oh my gosh, her little face. Oh, we got an idea. Okay, we're gonna go to Petit Island, take pictures, and bring them back for our grandpa. Sounds like a good plan to me. Oh, we're breaking into the piggy bank. Packing our bags. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, cool, we can pick a fit. Okay. Oh my gosh, we can change our fur. I thought we could just change the outfit. This is so cute. Okay, I'm definitely picking this one. This one's so cute with the pink. And then, oh, and then we can pick the backpack too. Let's get something that goes super cute with what we have. This one's nice. Okay. There's our look. Your attention, please. We are now on the approach to Putty Island Airport. Our sensors are indicating that it's nice and sunny out, the perfect weather for outdoor activities. Oh my goodness, we are very high up in the sky. I think that's where we're going. Oh, there's a smiley face on the plane. Kinda looks like a banana. Thank you for flying with us, and we wish you a fulfilling journey. We made it to Putsy Island. Very vibrant. This is us, we're Lily. Whoa. So this is the island from Grandpa Felix's stories. I can't wait to meet everyone he's told me about. I'm sure he'll be excited to have news of them all. Oh yes, I should call him. He's going to be so surprised. Wait, hold on. Where's my phone? Oh no, don't tell me. Low battery. Everybody panic. We gotta charge the phone. Oh, let's not leave the phone there. With our credit card? Clumsy me. I left it charging at the airport. Now I can't even use the internet to find my way around. Okay, calm down. What would Grandpa do? I know. He talked to people and asked for help. At least I still have his journal to help me keep track of things. Let's do this the old-fashioned way, then. Oh, we left it before we got on the plane. Oh my gosh, we left our phone 
Well, that's good. We don't need a phone. Yeah, we're gonna do things the old-fashioned way. We're gonna talk to people. What a concept. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to Petit Island. You look rather lost. I am a bit. It's so rare to see tourists without smartphones these days. Good on you. Well, I kind of accidentally left it charging at the airport. Oh, really? You poor thing. Well, here's a free map for you, at least. It should help you navigate the island. There are payphones all over the island that you can use to call home. They're also marked on the map. Okay, thanks for telling me. By the way, what's the fastest way to get to the main island? You can get to main island by taking the tram just up ahead. Cool, thanks. No problem, enjoy your visit. So we got a map, we learned about payphones, and we have to go visit the tram station if we want to go to the main island. Oh, I'm just double checking my luggage. I wouldn't want to forget anything. That would be embarrassing, don't you think? Yeah, totally. All right, way to rub it in. I did, I did leave my phone behind and I don't regret it. Oh my gosh, are there ducks or are those, are those real ducks or are they rubber duckies? I think they're rubber duckies. No, they're real. <laughs> well, they have like little leaves on their head. I thought maybe they were toys. <laughs> The skipping's cute. Look at me skipping. Petit Island. Oh, look at it. Wait, the running's cute. Excuse me. One tram ticket, please. No problem. That'll be 200. Do it. No problem. That'll be 200. Do it. Please. 200. Do it. Do it. Do we? Do it. No problem. That'll be 200. Just cut it all out. No. No. Do it. Do it! We don't have our credit card though. We left our credit card with our phone. Hold on, no way. Yeah, I said, that's what I said. What I said, we left our credit card behind. Yeah, I unfortunately don't have my card on me. Why don't you try asking the locals on the island? Maybe you can run errands for them? I love beaches. Oh, uh, me too. So from now on, I'm only collecting bad seashells. Bad seashells? Yeah, like the stuff people often leave on the beach. Please collect three bad seashells. That should be enough. Well, I hope the reward is money, Shelly. Rubbish. You found all the bad seashells. Here, I think this will help. A tram pass? Oh, that's better than money because we can just use that. Yeah, I was saving it for later. But you can have it as thank you from me. You managed to get yourself a tram pass. A multi-trip pass, even. Let's go to the main island. Cute. Petit Island. We got the title card. I love a good title card. Grandpa used to study under an amazing painter. Grandpa said that Taro Sensei was a master of traditional landscape painting and that he taught him everything he knew about art. Excuse me, I was wondering if you knew where I could find Taro Sensei's art studio. I haven't been there in a while. If I recall correctly, it has a blue roof. Okay, blue roof is great info. This one looks like a blue roof that's being renovated. I'm looking for an art teacher by the name of Taro Sensei. Lily, Taro Sensei is my father. I'm sorry he can't be around to help you anymore. Earlier you said you were interested in learning art, didn't you? What if I were to teach you? Really? You'd teach me? Good observation is a fundamental skill for an artist, and since you can't simply rely on your memories, especially if you're just starting out, your best bet is to have something to refer back to. So let me take a picture. Wait, I want to get a better angle. Yeah, from here, this looks great. Okay, gonna zoom in. I kind of like the tree in here. Okay, take a picture. Oh, that's cute. Scooter. Good. So we're gonna take a picture of you. Hey, cheese. Wait, this is cute. Cute. Thanks, Paco. Now we need two more photos. A little birdie. Contemporary artist. Oh, I guess very contemporary. Okay, tram station. <gasps> Look. Look at this. The banana llama. I need one. Hello, sir. Do you know where I can get a banana llama? A banana llama? <laughs> that sounds better. Banana llama. Oh! Hello? Did you see that? There's a creature. <gasps> a little playground. This is cute. Oh my goodness. What is that? Is that a frog? 
Okay, let me pick some flowers. Oh, it's grandpa's favorite flower. A food vlogger. Oh, the food's been ordered ahead of time, so you just need to help me eat and review it. Free food, really? Consider to thank you for helping me. Here, I'll mark the place on your map. Oh, let's go get some free food. I'd like one portion of Pempec, please. What kind do you want? Whichever the food vlogger ordered. Oh, this is our first, this is our first free dish. The mixed combo. Free food. Amazing. Tangy, delicious fish cakes. An acquired taste, perhaps, but worth a try. Okay, so Paco abandoned us, and we are going to go find them. Hi, Paco. Aw. Aw. You want to give the flowers to Taro Sensei? Yes, I'd be honored to. Where should I put them? You can put them in the vase over there. Okay, let's put these lovely flowers here for Taro Sensei. Thank you, Lily. Maybe we can continue our lessons another time. For now, I'd like to spend some time alone with my late father. I'm really sorry that my father is no longer here to help you with your mission. No problem, Paco. I'm sure Grandpa will cheer right up when he sees your pictures and reads about our art sessions. All right then, time for me to head to my next destination. You happen to know where I can find a fisherman who goes by the name of Mizayaki? I've heard of him, but I've never really met him. I suggest asking around at the fisherman's village. I was actually planning on going there later to hand over a painting someone commissioned, but seeing as you're also headed there, would you deliver it for me instead? Of course, Paco, I'll deliver it for you. Thank you, Lily, and good luck on your mission. Let's go fishing! Oh. My. Gosh. Hi. I need it. I need it. Please. Please. Welcome to Pity Island. We're currently offering a free trial banana llama ride. Whoa, can I have one? You certainly can. Here you go. Oh my gosh. This will help me get around the island faster. We used to offer a buffalo riding service too, but thanks to an unruly customer, we kept having to fetch them back from the volcano. I don't want to know. I'm not asking. Oh my gosh, we got, <laughs> we got a banana llama. Okay, everything. Wait, hello? Hello? Is this not my banana llama? Right here. Look. I have a banana. Okay, I can't say you cannot let me say banana llama. <laughs> I keep, it feels like it would go together so much better. A banana llama, right? It sounds so much better. A banana llama doesn't sound, doesn't have the same ring to it. Oh my gosh, this is literally all I wanted. Oh, we are going places. Look at the speed on this thing. Look at the speed on this. And we can get other mounts too, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at my banana llama. You wish you had one, but you don't. Oh, look, at, is that a tomato crab? The crab looked like a tomato. Oh my gosh, look at all these cute houses out here. Fishing. Here, take my old bug net, yes. You can equip it from your inventory, swing it near flying or crawling critters to catch them. But remember, insects are very sensitive creatures, so make sure to hold the sneak button if you want to get close to them without being detected. Oh. I see it. I got one. Oh, they literally look like leeks. I do like the clever types of critters they have. They're very whimsical. We got enough bait for this fisher. Well, well, well. Looks like you're one talented bug catcher. Thanks for the help, kid. Hello there, Mr. Mizayaki. He's already having his nap. Mr. Mizayaki? Yep, we missed him. He's in dreamland now. Excuse me. On one of the pages, I found this picture of you and him holding a fish. Would you help me recreate this picture, Mr. Mizuyaki? Absolutely. Anything to make Felix feel better. Wait, that's so cute that- Oh my goodness, hello. Wow, he's got places to go now, suddenly? <laughs> he's like, oh no, I wasn't supposed to be napping. I've got- Okay, you'll be- Oh, you'll be waiting for me. Okay. So let me take my banana llama and go find this fishing rod. I think that's actually so cute that our grandpa taught him how to fish and now he's gonna teach us how to fish. Here we go. All right, everybody look out. I've got a fishing rod and I'm not afraid to use it. We are going to fish. We're gonna cast nice and far. And we're gonna get a bite. Did I get it? 
<gasps> I did a citrus angelfish. Juicy and tangy. A favorite local delicacy. Now imagine if fish had citrus flavors. Wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that be an experience? Mister, I caught the fish. I've got them all. Great job, Lily. I was watching you in action from here. You're a natural. Ta-da! It's my Putsi Grill 9000. With this, I can make you the best tasting grilled fish you've ever had. Here, Lily, could you do me a favor and return this little one to the sea? You can release it around the pier where I taught you how to fish. Right away. Aw. Oh, the little bagged fish. A juvenile citrus angelfish. We love a considerate cat. Go back to your home. Very good. Job's done. I shall report back. Job's done. Perfect timing. The rest of the fish are almost done. Uh, let's take that picture. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the pose. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Do it again. Oh my gosh, I love it. What a guy. Here we go. Cute. All right, we got the picture. I think the fish are done. It smells so good. You can have them all, Lily. Thanks, but I doubt I can finish them all. I'll share them with the people around here. Do you want one? I already ate 15 whole pieces of fish while I was selling my catch at the market, so I'm fine, thank you. Wow. Oh yes, and I'd recommend visiting Sandy. I bet she'd love to meet you and find out how Felix is doing. Save a grilled fish for her too. Oh, Miss Sandy, I remember her from one of Grandpa's stories too. She's one of Grandpa's best friends. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to visit her next, though I don't really know where she lives. Oh hey, what's up? I just finished grilling some freshly caught fish and I still have some left. Would you like to try some? Whoa, so this is the famous local hospitality? Don't mind if I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have extra. Huh? Wait, you're only supposed to take one. Only one? Huh. What kind of hospitality is that? If you have a problem with people taking more than one, don't bother offering any at all. <gasps> oh, is Violet our nemesis? But you just took all of them. It's not my fault. You should be more specific next time. How about you be more considerate? Whatever, they're mine now anyway. <gasps> How rude. I thought everyone was going to be so nice. <laughs> what the... Ugh, what's wrong with her? She even took Miss Sandy's. Well, there's nothing I can do now. I'd better watch out for her next time. That was actually so rude. I can't believe she stole food from us. Miss Sandy, the green-fingered gardener. So we are searching for Miss Sandy. The only clue we have is that she's a gardener of sorts. So we're going to be looking for a flower shop, a garden, anything that could point us towards her. And now that I have my banana llama, I feel unstoppable. Look! Dreams do come true, everyone. Just never give up. Never give up on your dreams. <gasps> oh, this is giving garden. Right? This is giving garden. A squirrel! Hello? Is it wearing a t-shirt? Come back. Were you wearing a t-shirt? You looked so cute. Hello? Hi! Sandy! What a pleasant surprise to see you here. Wait, what? You must be Miss Sandy. Yes, that would be me. You look surprised. Sorry, I was just caught off guard. I didn't expect you to know my name. How come you recognize me straight away? Come on now, Lily. Your grandpa and I are close friends. We keep in touch, you know? Ever since he left the island, we've been keeping in contact by writing letters to one another. I remember he was so happy the day you were born. He even sent me a picture of him holding you when you were still so little. A few days ago, I was cleaning the house and came across Grandpa's journal. It was full of records of his adventures, though a lot of things were faded or missing. That gave me the idea of coming here and revisiting everything and maybe adding some of my own adventures as well. Hopefully that'll lift his mood next time I show him the journal. Aw, oh, Lily, that's very sweet of you. Thank you for being such a considerate granddaughter. Perfect. Pigeon wing seeds. Must be a type of flower, I hope. Plant some seeds. Okay, and now we have to turn on the sprinklers. Perfect. Looks good. Done. Here's a flower. <gasps> a flower hat. Wait, this was worth it. It's so pretty. It really suits you. Lily wearing a lily hat. Thank you very much, Miss Sandy. Oh, that reminds me. 
Mr. Mizuyaki and I made grilled fish skewers for you, but someone stole them. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't you worry, dear. I'll still pass on my thanks to Mr. Mizuyaki later. Hey, let's take a picture together so you can show it to Felix later. We got a little hat. That's so cute. I want to wear it. Okay, wait. Uh, switch mode. Aw. We can take a picture together. Okay, let's take a picture together. Cute. Time for me to get back to my adventure. Take care of yourself and say hi to Felix for me when you get back. I got a hat. Look. And my little ears poke up through it. <gasps> Are you serious? My hat. I just got my hat. Oh, I didn't go. No. Don't touch it. What's this? A hat? Don't mind if I do. Violet, that's my hat. Sandy made it for me. Hey, wait. Oh, it's you. That's my hat. Give it back. You again? No, I found it on the floor. But it's mine. The wind just blew it off my head. Finders keepers, right? Maybe you should take better care of your stuff. So it's technically mine now. See ya. Bye. Seriously? That's just plain stealing. You know what? I think it's time to actually do something about this. Let's see if Miss Sandy knows that bunny. Maybe I can talk to her parents or something. Well, there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed accompanying me with this first look at Putty Island's gameplay. I found the world's characters and their stories to be the standout feature of this title, with the narrative definitely being the main focus of gameplay. Please keep in mind that there are some heavier topics addressed along the way, so be sure you feel up to facing some emotions if you choose to play. However, this is well balanced with the vibrant world to explore, heartwarming connections to make, and meaningful moments shared with the islanders. So let me know down in the comments if you've tried out Petit Island or have it on your wish list. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and until next time, take care.